Have a good night, Bernard. You too. Here to be astonished, Coon. Mr. Banning needs it. That's what should be important to any of us. And standing here, gaping, isn't going to get it any closer to him. And Banning always gets what he wants, right? Do I detect a bad attitude, Coon? Me? <clears throat> Never. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's still there. Just as we were told. Stone of sorrow, how appropriate. If only they knew that that was just the beginning. people came across some news he thought I'd be interested in. It's about a theft from the Carleskin Foundation. It's an ancient relic called the Stone of Sorrow. What does it have to do with us? Well, the guard swears that he saw two men muscled out of the museum. So? So? Weighs three tons. How many men you know who could do that? Human? None. Saying Banning's behind it. This isn't right. You know, I'm no good at this field stuff. You know that. Come on, Biden. This is a good opportunity for you to see the world instead of cowering in your room. I don't want to see the world. Where is it written that I have to see the world? You know, and by the way, cowering has some very good points. It's better if you stay with us. Why? I mean, I'm, a, I'm a total wimp. Whatever happened to mission control? You know, where the real smart guy stays safely in the background with his computer and makes sure everything goes perfectly? It got us a guy on the moon and no one got hurt, right? All right. When we go to the moon, you can stay at mission control. Well, I wouldn't mind going to the moon, actually. That's, that's kind of fun. Excuse me, this chair is a museum piece? I'm sorry. It's okay. You must be Natalie the Cremere. Yes. Laura. Hi. May we ask you a few questions? Nathaniel. 
Uh, more police? Reporters, actually. Representing whom? The General Antiquities. Our circulation is mainly universities, but we like to keep curtain everything that's going on in the field. Interesting. When we heard the Stone of Sora had been stolen, we were intrigued. So you came all this way just to see where it used to be kept. We were hoping to get some details about its disappearance. Like what? Like why someone would be interested in stealing it? Well, because some people think it's an extraordinary object. Unfortunately, it's become far more extraordinary now that it's gone missing. It's just an old stone, right? The Stone of Sorrow is a very beautiful warning sign, a danger signal. It has remained a mystery for 10,000 years, and it may be far more than that. A relic from the past, dead and buried. That's a strange attitude for a reporter from an antiquity, journal. Nathaniel's articles are always controversial. Do you have any pictures of the stone? Of course. Follow me. Our foundation takes its name from Kaliskan, Brittany, close to Kermak, which is where the stone was found. It's one of the most mysterious regions on the face of the earth. It's the French answer to Stonehenge. Stonehenge? Stones which are aligned to harness Sirius' magnetic pulse. You are controversial, aren't you? <laughs> Voila, the Stone of Sorrow. For thousands of years, people have hidden it, protected it, and even worshipped it. Now it's a tourist attraction, but only if it's raining and there's nothing more exciting to do. Is there any particular reason why they call it the Stone of Sorrow, or does it just sound good? The majority of the carvings on the stone are in a language we haven't been able to decipher yet. But on top, there's an inscription in Celtic. Woe to those who seek within, for there lies only sorrow. I think it must have been put there by one of the stone's keepers. One of the last ones to understand the ancient language. The legend of the stone says that it's from a great prehistoric civilization that just disappeared without a trace. The legend also says that whatever or whoever it was that killed him off is now trapped inside it. Kind of hard to believe. Are you sure it's not a fake? If it's a fake, it's a very old one. What's inside of it? That, my dear, is a million dollar question. But scientists must have looked into it. Of course they have. X-ray, MRI, ultrasound, anything anybody might possibly dream of has come up empty. Science does have its limits. Well, maybe there's nothing in it after all. Maybe not. Why hasn't it been opened? It is an antiquity. You don't just go destroying your relic in the hopes there's something valuable inside it. Although I'm afraid that's just what someone might be planning to do. exercise is to open the thing. Don't rush it, Dent. We'll open it when I say. And here you are, sir. Thank you. Tell me, Natalie, why does someone with your credentials hide themselves at a little museum like this? The Kaliskan Foundation was created by my father. I adored him. It was only natural that I continue running it when he died. I see. Daddy was an anthropologist. I guess you could say he discovered the stone. When he started asking the locals about it, it turned out they all knew it was there. They were terrified. Little by little, the stories they had all grown up with, as well as their parents and their parents' parents, started to come out. Such as? Well... As I've already told you, thousands of years ago, something came down from the sky and destroyed every bit of life in the area. And whatever that thing was, got trapped inside it. And how does the legend say they died? Thirst, I imagine. Now, how in the world did you know? Yes, Mr. Skeptic. How did you know that? I 
have no idea. Well, have a good afternoon. If you have any other questions about anything, you know where to find me. Thanks for your help. Hope you find your stone. Oh, it will turn up all right. It's a difficult thing to hide. Bye. What do you mean? Well, first you talk about the stone like it's a hunk of rock, and then all of a sudden you're all over it, myth and all. Well, maybe us Therans are not as one-dimensional as you humans. We're able to see both sides of a particular subject at once. Well, Mr. Master of Logic, you sure have poor Natalie confused. Why do you say poor Natalie? She's an interesting woman, isn't she? There's something wrong with her. So you've picked up a few human traits? What would that be? Cynicism. So when you think the worst of people. No, that's not it. It's just that she didn't seem very upset when her stone was gone. She seemed very matter of fact. Well, let me tell you something, Nathaniel. Not every woman carries her heart on the sleeve. Maybe that's just the way she is. This is the man that tried to run us over. See if you can find out anything about him. I can tell you he's not Robert Redford. Right, give me a couple minutes and I'll tell you where he gets his shirts cleaned. Banning's behind this. How can you be sure? Whatever's inside that stone is valuable to him. How do you know what's inside that stone? How did you know all those people died of thirst? Because it's happened before. In other worlds, I've seen it. What's inside that stone was once part of a comet that broke up when it entered the Earth's atmosphere. It's like a seed. Seed like, like a plant seed? No, like a crystal seed. Crystals can be grown based on a small starting seed depending on how much energy and raw materials available. Yeah, we did that in grade school. Uh, crystal garden. I had a real coarse thumb. I don't understand, crystals can kill everyone. The seed is nice and we're of salt that doesn't exist naturally on Earth. If its internal molecular charge is high enough and it's released into a suitable pool of raw materials, it starts a chain reaction. And everybody turns to salt. Like Lot's old lady in the Bible. Or the Dead Sea. Maybe, maybe those are historical facts. Salt contaminates everything. Everything a life form like yours needs to exist. If man can start this reaction, could begin to shift the atmosphere it desires. Oh, boy. I think you're saying that if this thing is activated, it'll start a chain reaction that will destroy everything. He can't get that stone. We have to stop him. It's remarkable. It's held steady for 10,000 years. Great. Now it just has to hold for a few hours. It's more than a stone, it's a work of art. It's a suitcase with fancy writing. Oh, I didn't expect you to understand. Beautifully designed as you are, there are still certain things that are beyond your highly engineered grasp. This dates from the human stone age. The writing in itself is remarkable, but take into account the technology involved in fusing the stone, and it becomes even more astounding. It is a leap of progress thousands of years ahead of its time. I don't care about their progress. When that stone is charged and immersed out at sea, they'll all be dead. Spoken like a true robot, Dent. If you had one ounce of soul, you might be able to appreciate some of this world's accomplishments. A soul. That's nothing more than a malignancy. An infection. You're beginning to like them, aren't you? Weak as they are, humans do occasionally surprise me. It's a bad idea. Don't 
lecture me. You are here to take orders. That's it. I am here to follow orders. Those coming from Mr. Banning. Nobody else. Did you never think that Mr. Banning might be wrong? No. Never. That makes sense. Easy to clear customs. And he could probably transport it to some place where he can open a contained environment. No. Stone was never meant to reach a destination. The raw materials necessary for a chemical reaction can be found in seawater. Nathaniel, we're surrounded by seawater. He could have dumped it already. Not yet. The crystal seas have been dormant too long. It needs to feed the molecular charge before it can use it. How long do we have? I don't know. A few hours a day at the most. It has the potential power of every nuclear device in the world. It has to be eliminated. How do we do that? That's what I'm not sure about. Here we go. Seaway Queen is at Pier 22. Scheduled to set sail tomorrow afternoon. They may as well have just sent us an invitation. I have a boat to catch. I'm going with you. Oh, it's better if there's not that many of us. We'll be easier to be caught. You guys wait here. Huh, a voice of reason. I like it. Norris was taken by the police. Unfortunately, he hung himself in his cell. It took him a long time to die. You sound like you have inside knowledge. Not everyone can commit suicide by themselves. Are you certain that everything else is secure? Unlike you, I am here to do my job. The rock is not here anymore. The rock is on that boat. Come to think of it, this is probably the best place to be. Come on, Biter, where's your sense of adventure? Oh, let's see. It's not here. No oh, I know. It's on the yacht. You know what? I'll go back and get it, and, uh, yeah, I'll meet you there. Biter. Just kidding. So she's still here. Natalie! You're back. I didn't expect to see you again. Sorry to bother you. I was wondering if I could ask you a few more questions about the stone. There's nothing more to ask. I've said everything. New partner. The brains of the operation. I'm really happy to meet you. Where is your friend? You mean, Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. He's out chasing down a lead. Is that so? Mm. What kind of a lead? It's nothing, just a hunch about the stone. Mm -hmm. Some guy tried to kill Nathaniel and Laura. Oh, really? That's terrible. I'm glad he didn't succeed. Well, we trace his ID down to the boat in the harbor, and we think the stone is there. Oh, that's interesting. It's nothing. Just a hunch. Hmm. It sounds like a very good one. Have you called the police? No, that's not necessary. Nathaniel knows what he's doing. Well, he may not know as much as you'd expect. So now, we're all going to join him.
patience. You found it. Natalie, what are you doing? What else was I supposed to do? They know the stones on board the ship. Do you think that really matters? No, it doesn't. And I tried to explain that to her. So, so why don't we just go back where we came from and you go about your business and we'll pretend it never happened. Okay? Shut up. Her boyfriend knows too. Of course he does. That's why we sent the taxi. But this boyfriend thing does fascinate me. You and Nathaniel. I've often wondered if such a thing were possible. Coom, we don't have time for this. You received a stone, all right? Don't worry, it's well protected. Well, my friends, as you're here, you may as well relax and enjoy the cruise. Yeah, I'm not ready for a cruise. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even packed or... This is real. You have a good eye. Far better than most of the so-called experts who still think that the originals are hanging in their galleries. What can I say? I have a passion for art. Where's the Daniel? In the storage. What are they doing here? I was just asking them the same thing. I'll eliminate them after we leave port. That's a decision for Mr. Banning to make. Lock them up. Mr. Benning doesn't like to be troubled with details. I'll make that decision for him. I said no. I've earned it. I have the authority to end. You know it. No. They have to die. They know about me. They know about everything. But they will die if and when I decide. And not before. Take care of our guests. We wouldn't want them to be inconvenienced. I do. It's called business. If Banning gets his hands on that stone, there will be no business, no money, no real estate. What are you talking about? The myth is true. There really is something dangerous in that stone, and they're going to use it to kill us all. You've got to be kidding. Don't tell me. We're all going to die of thirst? That's only part of it. But what they've got planned is a whole lot worse. Oh, that's too bad you won't get a story. <laughs> get her out of here. Thank you, Dent. You may go. Who's Banning? The client. I thought you were the client. Stop asking questions, Natalie. There are those here who would be equally happy to see you treated in the same way that our other friends will be. Well, let's settle our account and I'll be out of your hair forever. Unfortunately, nothing can be settled until the client has received his goods. I made a deal with you. I sold the stone to you. Sold it? <laughs> My dear young lady, we stole it. I fixed the alarm. I planned everything. We had a bargain. The account will be settled. There's no need for concern. Good. Doesn't it bother you at all to part with something so magnificent? I looked at that damn thing every single day for years, watching my father die penniless, trying to keep this foundation alive. Fortunately, I realized that there were people who'd pay a great deal more to own the damn thing than to look at it. Such a shame. Humans. They're capable of such incredible achievements, and at the same time they can be so disappointing. Now, if you will excuse me, I have an appointment. Nathaniel. Oh, good thinking. How about you look in that corner? I'll look over here. You know, I have to tell you, 
I am very, very unhappy about the way things are going. Stop it. Stop complaining. You're the one who found us, remember? You're the one who wanted to uncover conspiracy theories. Well, you got what you wanted. You should be a stack. No. I'm sure I mentioned this at the time. My job is finding conspiracies, not stopping them. Banning told me that you might turn up here. He said you'd be a danger to the operation. Banning's right. Why? Why do you insist on helping these humans? Why do you think they're living beings? I used to think that belief was central to our people's philosophy. Has everyone that came with Banning totally lost that? Look around yourself, Ethaniel. This race is repulsive, it is petty, it is unenlightened. They're evolving. Is it any less unenlightened for us to destroy them? You've established a relationship with the woman. What if I have? Nothing. It's just that I've often wondered what it would be like to be close as one of you. Even though you're working to kill them all. Maybe it's the fact that they're doomed that makes them so attractive. Is that how it is with you, Nathaniel? With you and the woman? Perhaps I can see deeper than that, Coon. I admire her bravery. Her spirit. Ah, yes. There is that spirit. They're capable of creating beauty. Of understanding truths. I've been collecting their writings. Their paintings. Their uh, ancient works. There are moments of inspiration. And tenacity. To think that their civilization has cradled the stone for 10,000 years. I wonder if bonding with them might not in some way strengthen our own race. But then, one is not supposed to think that way, is one? When Banning completes his plan, these people that you find so interesting will be crushed out of existence in a matter of days. Is that what you want to have happen? It is not my choice. Like you, I too have a mission. You also have free will. Your mission is what you choose it to be. Your mission is to do what is right, Goon. I will be true to my own kind. I will do what is necessary. Turn it on. What are you doing? The material inside the stone has been dormant for too long. We need to re-energize the molecules. Then when we're out at sea, we will break open the seal and dump it in the ocean. A world-killing seed in the richest pool of natural resources it could ask for. You'll thank us for this later, Samuel. When it's done. Art improves one, Dent. You really should try opening yourself up to beautiful things. I'm not interested in beautiful things. All I care about is opening myself up to new ways of dealing with our enemies. I know a thousand ways to kill, and there must be a thousand more. <laughs> well, there you go, Dent. You've discovered your passion. Hmm. You do have the soul of an artist, and you never knew it.
me your knife. Your knife. No, not for anything, Laura, but this is no time to be thinking about food. I'm not. How's your aim? We've already talked. I want my money, and I want to be off this boat. What you just said. I can help you with the latter part. <gasps> she was my guest. It was an accident. You disobeyed my order. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Of course not. That's why it must have been an accident. I'm going to tell Banning about this. Best not to. You see, I've just realized how easy it is to precipitate an accident. destroy everything I have in this world? Are you out of your mind? Believe me, I'll shoot you first. The future of your world is at stake. Is that all? Your friend just told me the same insane story. Where is she? Right here on the ship. With your nerdy friend. Now get up there and get me my stone. Now. So far, so good. What's been good? Yeah, we have a rope strong enough to get us to where the guys are trying to kill us are? Just climb. Yeah. Trouble below. You got out. Yeah. I said it's an accident about to happen. Stop 
it now, Nathaniel. You two up there, if you value his life, stay where you are. Run! Run! Go! You know, I can't allow you to do what you're planning. I know you won't stop me. Why is that? Because you appreciate the stone. Not just as a piece of art. There's a monument to mankind's survival. You appreciate them. Admit it. That will not prevent me from fulfilling my duty to our people. Stand away now. What's he doing? It seems that he's been using my own device to over-energize the elements within the stone. Stop him. He wants to destroy it. You might be a little more appreciative. After all, he is acting in your interest. My interest? Don't make me laugh. Or maybe I should say mankind's interest. Or perhaps that doesn't concern you. He's a fool. You. You are the fool. What does that make you, Kuhn? To her, this stone is merely a piece of merchandise. You are something worse. I am loyal. I am committed to the Theron goal. I am willing to do whatever is necessary. As should you be. This is insane. You don't believe his insane story, do you? Oh, I'm afraid it's quite true. Once the elements within that stone are released, you and all your people will be dead. No. There is another way. We can still survive without sacrificing this world. These people and everything they built can live. I can't do it alone. It requires too much energy. Together, we can destroy it. Mm, don't ask me to do what I can't. You won't get this chance again. Once it's passed, it's lost. make whom? No. You spoke of art. You spoke of human spirit. Was that all a lie? No. Then how can you turn your back on it? I can't. I hope that you're right, Nathaniel. I hope that there is another way for our people. You're not gonna help him, are you? Stop it! It belongs to me! It's done enough. Let's get out of here. Help me. Somebody help me. Cool. You reptile. Let me help you with your suicide. me like you're adapting to field work pretty well, Biter. Yeah, it was pretty spectacular, if I say so myself. We'll make a man of you yet. Don't count on it. I mean, <laughs> I don't plan on making a habit out of this hands-on stuff. But you were so enthusiastic. And yeah, desperate is more like it. 
No, I'm going back to mission control. Okay, mission control. Get used to hearing that. Right, no more guns, no more goons, and no more boats. I hate boats. Big boats, little boats, I hate them all. In fact, I'm going to find myself a nice, safe seat at a video arcade. Catch you all later. Thanks, fighter. <laughs> what you thinking? Couldn't have done it without Coom. He gave his life to help us all. Why? Well, I think he was leaning in the right direction. It was in him. He just knew that that would be the defining moment of his life. Decided to make it a work of art. But he's so close to banning. Really circumstance. Maybe there's more like him on banning steam. Maybe they want to change too. Maybe. I think to have an appreciation of humanity, one just has to meet the right humans. Have you met the right one? I think I have. Codename Eternity, when family becomes the enemy. Stay away from that. You can never go home. May we come in? Codename Eternity, an all-new original series, next Friday at 10 on Sci-Fi. Predators, warriors, our wants, our needs are exactly the same. Kill or be killed. A Sci-Fi Pictures original, Alien Lockdown, premieres this Saturday at 9. Oh, Tripping the Rift premieres Thursday, March 4th at 10.30 on Sci-Fi. Next, on an all-new Stargate SG-1. We may not be alone here. A traitor places SG-1 in the crossfire. They are without honor. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Stargate SG-1, a Sci-Fi Channel original series. All new next 